today's video, I decided to jump on the bandwagon and film one of these nursing school supply hauls for you guys. So if you want to see everything that I picked up, please keep watching. Before we get started, I just wanted to let you guys know a little bit about me. Of course, my name is Brittany. I am 31 and in August, I will be attending um, school to become an LPN. And then after I graduate as an LPN, my plan is to work for a year and while working, um, I'm going to try to obtain my RN and then I want to become a um, CMP, which is a nurse practitioner. So those are all my goals. So again, if you guys want to see what I got, just keep watching. Well, I figured that the first thing that I would start off with is like all of my like supplies, like pens, pencils, things like that. So the first thing that I see in my box is this little badge holder thing. Um, it's really cute because like it's outlined in like pink and you can either put your badge in it this way or you can flip it around and wear it to the side. The next thing that I got were these little bandage badge clips, super cute. So I got a pack of four for $8.99 off Amazon. So this one has like the medical cross and then there's a smiley face with a bow, another smiley face, and this one is a heart. So I think that those are really cute. They also came with four little clear um, badge covers. I picked up were just some rinky dink pens. These were only a dollar. I really love to write and I like an assortment of pens. Um, it's funny because anytime that I'm out and I see some pens that I like, I just buy pens. I don't know why I have so many pens, but I've seen these and I was like, oh my God, these are cute just to have. Even if I take them to school or even if I don't take them to school, they're just cute to have. Erasers. I love these things because I found that um, when you're like erasing work with the with the eraser that came with the pencil, it doesn't completely erase everything. And I feel like these little guys will get the job done. 24 pack of mechanical pencils off Amazon. And I honestly think that this entire pack was only like $4. Um, but I got a 24 pack. Um... I didn't buy any lead or anything to refill it because last time I was in college, um, I bought like a pack of these and I didn't even use half of them. So we'll see if I go through these. Next two things that I got are these mini highlighters and these mini Sharpies. And they have like the little thing up here so that you can um, attach it to your badge. So I thought that these would really be cute to attach to my badge clip. And, you know, the next thing that I got were these highlighters from the dollar store. These are equivalent to the Sharpie brand markers, um, but you get two yellow ones, two pink ones, a green one, an orange one, a blue one, and a purple one. And they do have like the, the liquid in them, if you guys can see. These are a really good steal. I buy these all the time, and again, they're only like $2. So another thing that I picked up that everyone has been ranting and raving about are these Paper Mate Ink Joy Pens. So I did pick up the 14 pack and it's um, an assortment of colors, anywhere from pink to black. So kind of like the rainbow of the all black ones. The reason why I picked up a all black pack is because um, in the medical field, anytime that you're documenting, legally everything has to be in black. So I figured that these would come in handy in nursing school, out of nursing school, um, when it comes to legal document. Last thing that I got as far as pens and pencils is um, this box of Amazon basic fine point pen thingy things. So these are like the, um, I don't really know the name of them, but I got a box of these. I don't even know how many come in here, 24. So there's 24 of these and I thought that these would be brilliant. Um, when I'm like writing notes, if I'm writing in my calendar, I love colors and I love to see color anytime I open something up. I feel like it's easy when you have colors because now you can like decipher what color go to what and things like that. So sorry, you guys, I needed to take a coffee break. Ugh. I can drink coffee all day. It's probably not the best thing, but I'm telling you I can. So moving right along, the next thing that I got are these um, index card containers. I bought two of them from the dollar store. They were only a dollar. And then inside of them, I just have um, note cards in that one. 
and then in the second one i just have more note cards and then i have like some post-its like tucked away in there as well so i did decide to pick up some mini notebooks um they come in a three pack as you guys can see so a three pack for a dollar and i thought that these were absolutely great um for clinical um you open it up there's like smaller lines but super easy um you can write patient information vitals whatever you want and then easily just close it up stick it in your scrap pocket and then on to the next patient i also picked up this mini drug guidebook for nurses and it's by the brand lippincott um I think that this would be very essential, um, especially if um, someone mentions a drug that you're not familiar with or if you just need to see the different routes that a drug can be used um, and things like that. I think that this reference guide will be very helpful. To keep myself organized, I picked up this pretty gold and white planner. Do y'all see this? This is so classy. It's so chic. It's not over the top. If you guys know me, um, I'm... A person who like like really neutral colors white black cream grays um golds things like that so i thought that this calendar will be absolutely amazing and it's fitting for me so it's from the month of july 2020 to june 2021 which is absolutely perfect um i did write a few things in there like in the front of the book i kind of wrote my name kind of wrote my name in there and then um, prior to classes starting, we do have a few requirement things that we need to do. Um, so I did go ahead and write those kind of in my planner too, so you guys could see that. Got a pack of stickers. Um, you guys know what's in the sticker book. It's all type of things in the sticker book, but there's um, over 1,700 stickers in this book. To pick up some notebooks. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be using these or not, but I guess closer to um school starting i guess the instructor will let us know i um picked up these file folders and it comes in an eight pack i prefer these over the pocket folders simply because i like to personalize my own tabs and i like to do what i want to do with the outside of the folder yes it may be much easier just to get a color folder to coordinate with the color of a notebook just so that you know what subject it is for but for me um i'm extra and i'm over the top so i feel like this is what best fits me so it works for me so now we are going to move on to my clinical bag and everything that is inside of my clinical bag so this is my clinical bag hopefully you guys can see it um this is a daisy rose bag it is a louis vuitton dupe um the outside is kind of like this vegan leather type material um so if anything spill on it it's easy to wipe off the only downfall is that the bag does not come with a zipper it kind of comes with a little clasp here kind of like the little bag but um it is what it is the first thing that i have in this bag is a gate belt and some ace bandages um now Prior to me coming to nursing school, I was in college for um, medical assisting and we were given a huge clinical bag with an abundance of things in there. And I never used this gate belt and I never used these ACE bandages. So after six years, I still have that big clinical bag. So I figured that a gate belt and some ACE bandages would be very ideal, especially going into the nursing field because some of our Clinicals will be in a nursing home and you do know that sometimes you have to transfer a patient with a gate belt So I felt like these two would be very essential. This little pouch also came with my bag and I figured that I could like throw some lip gloss Some gum and like any other knickknacks that I need inside of this kind of like just stick it in my bag and go I love to keep my lips moisturized. It's nothing like having some big nice lips, but they're big and crusty You know what I mean? So some lip gloss, just throw it in here, put it in my bag, and be on my way. I also got this little um, triangular clutch. And I know you guys are like, Brit, like, why do you have a clutch in your bag? But I'm actually going to use it for a pencil case. I thought that it was really cute and fitting for my clinical bag. And it's just classy and chic. So I'm just going to throw some pens, some pencils, highlighters, 
and anything else that I feel like I might need that's essential to anything clinical and specifically just black pens because again like I said um, when you're documenting you want to make sure that everything is in black ink so that's why I picked this up another thing that kind of rolled over from my MA program Okay, so another thing that carried over from my medical assisting program was a manual blood pressure cuff. Um, I feel like these are essential to have and most importantly, it's important to know how to use one, which they should teach you guys in school how to use a manual blood pressure cuff. I have in my clinical bag are these bandage scissors, which looks like they do a hell of a good job. So I have some bandage scissors and they're pink. And then I have two pin lights. There's a pink one and a white one in there. I have not yet opened them, but the thing that I purchased was this foldable clipboard. So it kind of folds up. It's metal, as you guys can see. Um, and the good thing about this is that it comes with like conversions on the back. So you have like your injection size, pupil sizes, um, lab values. I think that um, this is great over here in the height and weight section, especially if you live in a bigger city because I know that a lot of foreigners gravitate towards bigger cities and when they measure their height and weight, they measure their height in centimeters and their weight in kilograms. So it'll be very neat to kind of like use this conversion chart when you need to convert. Funny story, before I went out and bought all of the supplies, I'm telling you, I searched high and low on YouTube, watched over a hundred YouTube videos, and I came across this item that I absolutely love. I think that it's gonna be so beneficial. Um, I will definitely be linking this down below for any of you guys who wanna pick this up. They have so many different colors in this item, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you. I picked up this pink stat pack from professionalnurse.com and it's like a fanny pack for nurses um instead of you overloading your square pocket with all type of things there's like a big pocket here for you to put some things in there's like a pocket here some little holes here for like pins and pin lights there's a um, there's a pouch here so it's unlimited space in this thing for you to store so much stuff and I just think it's cute and chic. This little thing over here is for you to like hold your bandage tape. So I thought that this was cute and it's just like classy, like, and pink is my favorite color. So this is like super classy. I can't wait to wear it. Um, but again, they have so many colors of these and I will be sure to put this in the link. And final thing that I got was a stethoscope case. I got it in all black because again, I thought that it would be fitting for my clinical bag and I do plan to get my name put on this um so yeah so let's open up and see what is inside open it up it has these two compartments here this one um I put it I had an extra pin like that carried over from MA school um and an extra pair of bandage scissors as well um but it's a pocket here and you can store like your bandage scissors pin lights whatever else in here and then this is another pocket but i'm kind of feeling like this is totally upside down quote me if i'm wrong but down here has like little things for you to put pins or pin lights and i don't know what's going to go up in here since this is completely upside down and then you flip it and there's like a little compartment here and i have just some alcohol alcohol swabs and some um tools to my litman and then back here is the stethoscope um, holder and this is my stethoscope so I have a chocolate brown stethoscope and it comes with like copper on it and this is the classic three I believe so um I do I don't know like I've only ever had a Litman and they have never done me wrong, but I know that there's other stethoscopes out there that probably is way much better than these, but it's going to be the end of my nursing school supplies haul. Again, everything will be linked down below. If you guys have any questions or comments, just leave them down below. Um, and that's all that I have for you guys. Bye.